All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Let's talk about what Kathy Wood and Arc Invest is buying. There seems to be consistent buying of this one specific company that you guys should definitely take note of. So we all get it, Arc Invest, the reason why a lot of people are so obsessed with it is they're pretty much by far one of the best fund managers out there. I mean, Kathy Wood, she's absolutely amazing. Buying Tesla a few years ago when everyone simply laughed at the stock. If you check out their overall ETF, Arc K Innovation ETF, their most famous one, look at the five-year chart. It's up 421%. This is by far the best ETF you could find on Robinhood that's not triple leverage. Like name me another ETF that has 421% in the past five years. You probably can't name one unless it's triple leverage, which we don't count those right now. But of course, if you check out like Berkshire Hathaway, S&P 500, SPY, the NASDAQ's QQQ, they can't even beat it. And you can kind of see why. Like when you have a really good fund manager, your ETF and also the money you're making goes up. And so far, the reason why I like ARK Invest is they never buy banks. They never buy food stocks like McDonald's or Coca-Cola. They buy super innovative stocks, disruptive technology that they know in the future will go up. Same thing with Tesla. They also invest in Apple and also other smaller e-commerce sites out there. And this is why they're making big bank and big cash because they know tech is the future and the future sure food and also bank stocks are cool and all but that's not going to be having any sort of an insane growth so the stock i'm introducing is doyu international the name's a little bit weird but hopefully i can pronounce it right but the ticker name is d-o-y-u doyu so arc invest they're buying a ton of this stock if you check this out on october 14th they actually bought 251,000 shares of doyu that is pretty insane and even though that's only 0.03 percent of the etf that still means that they're taking a huge interest but what's really impressive is after october 14th october 15th they bought even more of this so if you check this out you can see doyu international holdings half a million shares and that's also pretty insane and then october 16th friday they bought even more. This is the third day in a row they were buying this. Another 451,000 shares of Doyu. This is insane. And if you check out the RK Innovation ETF, you could clearly see they do have these positions already up. It's a smaller position, only counting 0.17% of the RK ETF, but still 18 million shares is pretty impressive. On top of Doyu, they also bought a bunch of Huya. Hopefully I'm saying these names right. If I'm saying these names wrong, please tell me in the comment section because I don't want to be saying this like anymore. Anyway, they bought over a hundred million dollars worth of this stock. It's pretty insane. And so far, both of these companies have one thing in common. They're both in China and they're both in the streaming business. And I'm talking about game streaming, kind of like esports, gaming, Twitch, that kind of stuff. So what is going on with the overall company? Why is everyone so obsessed with this? And why is ARK Invest buying so many of these shares? And the crazy thing is, if they only bought shares for like one day, okay, that's not a big deal. They're probably just diversifying their portfolio, but they bought it three times in a row, the 14th, the 15th, and the 16th. Sure, even after three days of buying, it doesn't really take up a lot of the ETF. That's still a lot. And so far, Doyu and also Huya, they both do streaming, game streaming, and it's a really big deal. You clearly see Doyu is being bought out by Huya. This is a really big partnership. It's like two really big titans combined together, and they both do one thing, and one thing only, game streaming, esports, gaming competitions. That's about it. And you might be wondering, okay, what's the big deal about this? Well, if you look at China's population, it's extremely big. I mean, it's absolutely enormous, more than a billion people. Here in the United States, Twitch is a really big industry. It's a really big company. And America, well, we only have about 300 to 400 million people. And sure, other countries might use it here and there, but it's mostly us Americans. But if you look at China, the population is huge. And the thing about these two platforms is other companies, perhaps South Korea, Japan, Vietnam, they might be using this service as well. And that's a pretty big deal. 
If you look at who, yeah, I can clearly see what I'm talking about. This is all just streaming services. This is pretty much exactly like Twitch. And look at the viewer count on this. This is insane. Like there's like millions and millions of viewers watching these on a constant basis. And we go to like Doya, same exact thing. They pretty much do like live streaming platforms and also gamings and stuff like that. And this is, and these two big giants are combined together to have this really big partnership. And a lot of people have been saying, this is kind of like the monopoly of the world of streaming in China. If you check out Huya's active users, there was 150 million monthly active users at the start of 2019. And during this pandemic, I'm pretty sure the amount of users absolutely skyrocketed up. If you look at Douyu, they have about 163 million active users in 2019. And once again, the pandemic, it definitely surged up. And guess what? That's more users than Twitch, which the, it's the site that we all know about for streaming. 140 million monthly active users on Twitch. That's nothing compared to these Chinese big titans. 163 million. This one, 150 million. These are a lot of people. And these two companies are so good to the point that Tencent actually owns huge number of shares in both of these companies. And once again, if you guys don't want to directly buy like Douyu or Huya, you can simply just buy Tencent, which is a really good company and it's listed on the NASDAQ. And they actually have a pretty big stake in the overall companies. So this is a really big deal. It's streaming. It's a really, really big industry in China. A lot of people feel like streaming isn't really a big deal, but I can assure you, I have met a few international students in my university and they're really, really big fans of streaming. It's like a big lifestyle over there. And they all use these two platforms. And when these two platforms merge together, you got this really, really big company going on. And it's like a giant Titan that no one could take down. And so far, ARK Invest knows this. That's why when you check their ARK ETF, they also own a lot of Huya and also Doyu stock as well. They just recently started purchasing Doya and they're purchasing more and more every single day. I mean, ARK Invest purchased this stock three days in a row should signal something. So that's about it, guys. This is the main thing I want to tell you guys. This is a really, really big deal. I feel like if you guys want to invest in it, but you don't want to buy it directly, you can always buy the RK ETF. There's like a bunch of different companies. But of course, if you guys want to take a big gamble, you can always buy calls for these. Maybe buy calls for maybe like set February 2021. Calls are honestly fairly cheap. If you guys really want to play this, you can spend $18 or $20 on the $30 per strike call. The implied volatility isn't that high. Data decay isn't that bad. And the price, if it really does double, you're possibly looking at 800, 1000 or 1500 percent on these calls. So there's a lot of upside potential in my opinion. That's about it guys, thanks for watching. But before you leave, if you guys wanna check out the day trades and swing trades, the mods and admins, they made about 360-ish dollars in September. So that's actually pretty good. They're winning and beating the market. You can also view my trades in lifetime. Also get support chat and premium chat, which is pretty awesome. Definitely check out the Patreon link below. Definitely check out the Patreon link below. This thing is all in the description, Discord server, Patreon link. $12 per month should get you most of the access, or if you wanna get really crazy, the $25 per month. The thing is, my Patreon doesn't charge people until the first of every month. So today is around mid-October. We charge November 1st, that's our first charge. So if you guys just don't like the service or just don't want to pay anything, just cancel it before November 1st and you get everything completely free. So why not just try it out? If you like it, definitely stay and support the channel. But of course, you could definitely view our trades, which are pretty awesome. I view, I post my trades as well. So definitely check us out. Thanks for watching guys and comment below. Definitely check out some of these shares.